Hi, this is JJ DiGeronimo, the president of Tech Savvy Women, and this is our Women in STEM video series. We are recording these series to showcase women in all industries across the globe of women that are actually pursuing degrees and careers in STEM. And today I'm thrilled to have Cassie Militia with us. Hi, Cassie. Hello. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for inviting me. I can't wait to dive in. Uh, there's just so much I've heard about you and I'm looking to share your journey and your career story with so many women that watch these videos. So let's get started. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got into a STEM career? Um, well, it all started probably in high school. Um, I was in a basic computer class and I really loved the final project, which was to create a website. And instead of just following along with the course materials, I ended up going out and getting my own first HTML book and going above and beyond uh, exactly what was needed. And my teacher would just kind of looked at it like, what did you do? Go out and get a book. It's like, yeah, I did because it was fun. I, I had fun doing it. Um, from there, actually, on my free time, I used to make fanfic pages for the cartoons that I liked at the time. So kind of geeky right there, but <laughs> it worked. Um, after I graduated from high school, I started at BW um, going towards a major in web applications and engineering. And I found out that it was a little bit too much on the code side and I wanted to do something a little bit more creative. So I ended up looking around at different schools and such and I ended up settling on an interactive media uh, and web design degree. I have my associates in that. And um, from there, I'm still continuing my education. I'm looking for a degree, and probably graphic design would be next to keep those creativeness, because I got the code side, and now I want the creative side. And so uh, from there, that's that's pretty much my schooling. Um, right now, can I'm... I, can I stop you for a second? So for those gals that don't know what interactive media is, can you share a little bit about what that is? Um, yeah, sure. We're uh, basically create the front end of any website that you see. We create a lot of the user experience. So when you go to a website, any of the interactivity that you see, all the, the JavaScript and cool flying things all over the page or any of the messages. And basically, we create the layouts that take what the designers create and turn it into a functional site of what you actually see. Oh, so you're saying on most websites, there's essentially two views, the back end view and the front end view. Absolutely. And you're, the, you're working, your degree, your, your initial degree was on the front end and your next degree, you want to work on learning the back end. No, I actually reversed. I learned the coding first and mm -hmm. now I want to learn more of the actual, how the designers take what the clients want and turn it into a beautiful work of art that, that they want to be able to use to, to show to their clients and to their, their users. That is awesome. And I know we're going to jump forward into your career, but it just seems to me that most employers, most companies these days need somebody of your skill set. Uh, yeah, there's probably about 25 to 30 of us where I'm at, uh, broken up into two groups. Um, there's the Java side where we do most of the e-commerce stores, so any of the stores that you see. Um, and then there's a Microsoft side that does all of the the promotional sites, the, the new products that are coming out. We um, make the static sites. So mm -hmm. it's really basically where your skill niche is in it is where you're going to end up. And it sounds like there's a lot of jobs. I mean, it seems like most companies need somebody who has web expertise. And some companies like the one you're in now have 30 people just focused on that. Oh, absolutely. And it, it's a great it's it's a great networking thing because um, we really kind of work together uh, no matter which side that we're on. And mm -hmm. in that way, we kind of keep our options open. So even though we may be split into one side or another, being able to work with both teams allows us to, if one team is needed for the different sides, we can just go wherever we want. And so um, for the gals listening in in high school and college, you initially got a two-year degree and then got a job? Correct. Um, I was actually still in process of getting my degree. And one of the girls in my class had started an internship at the company that I'm at now. And 
at the time I was doing production work for or print production work for a different company and the company that she had was working for um, gave me a call and was like hey your name was dropped and she said that you did pretty good work on this project that you were working on with her would you like to come in for an interview and talk to us about this open position that we have and uh, I was like absolutely I had been currently working to get my resume and my LinkedIn account all, all beefed up so that I could get a job in the field that I wanted to and uh, when I went in, I, I fell in love with the company and the uh, the people, the work th work ethic, and pretty much what I was going to be doing. And I've been there almost two years now. So that is amazing. And so the reason they contacted you is because you did such good work in your college programs that somebody noticed. And then when they probably asked, "Hey, is there anybody you'd recommend?" Your name was on the top of the list. Yep, absolutely. And actually, since I've started there, um, last was it last year probably, I actually recommended another girl in one of my classes, and she's now been there for probably about six months now as well. So it's it's a great kind of pay it forward type of thing that that we're good at doing because you find good talent when you're in the classes that you go through. That's a great point. I think a lot of people say, well, when I get in the workforce, I'll do a good job, but they don't even realize that some people that may hire you actually see the work you're doing in college. And if you do good work on your projects in college, you're likely positioning yourself for roles that you don't even know about yet. Oh, absolutely. I had never even heard of the company before they mm -hmm. reached out and contacted me. So when they're like, when they started going off of what they, they were in their mission statements, like, wow, I didn't even know this type of company existed in Cleveland. So I was ecstatic. <laughs> that is so exciting. So what other lessons can you share for women listening in that are considering uh, a technical degree or a STEM degree? Um, pretty much always keep your options open. Um, make sure you find the niche that you really feel comfortable in. I know my biggest thing uh, when I started at BW along the web applications track, it was really difficult for me because I wasn't really connecting with the work that I was doing. Mm -hmm. And then I, once I changed, I really fell in love with it. And after that, I really excelled in what I was doing. So pretty much just stick with it and make sure you find what you love because my favorite motto is if you find what you love and do what you love, then you'll never work a day in your life. That is great. That is great. That's awesome advice. And I think for many people watching, it's a good reminder that you do almost better work when you're aligned to your to things that you're naturally inspire you. And oh, so cool. what are your next steps? Um, I'm currently continuing my degree or my uh, education. Um, I'm trying to go probably more towards the creative side, and uh, but you never really know. <laughs> I might find another degree because they're popping up all the time in, in this field. Um, and then continue with uh, the, the company that I'm at. I'm really enjoying it. So pretty, pretty much just progress as far as, as far as I can with that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and just basically keeping up with technologies and time and having fun with it. I, I'm constantly reading all of my web design magazines and going out and buying every book that I could find. So I, uh, it, it's, it's, I, I just have fun with it. Just have fun with it. That sounds great. And it sounds, you know, you probably have a pretty decent salary. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it supports pretty much me and my husband and my two children. So oh, that's <laughs> we're doing <great>. good. <laughs> You know, a lot of girls, you know, when I go in and talk to them in class, they realize, wow, I didn't know that I could, you know, actually get that type of salary right out of school. And with your two-year degree, I mean, that really opens the door for a lot of opportunity for girls. So um, I just want to know, with all your reading and following up on the industry, which is awesome, I always tell people to keep themselves educated, get certifications, because you always want to make yourself marketable. What do you see are sort of the next new things? What are things, degrees, um, or careers that girls should be looking at that are sort of popping up? Um, definitely the web design and mobile web is a huge one coming around. Um, app design, um, pretty much just as long as they are what uh, people have been referencing as hybrid uh, hybrid creators, they're You'll, you'll be good. If you're able to create and code and, you know, kind of a little bit of both, you're going to need to know both. 
Um, so make sure you don't just single yourself out to one particular for particular type of uh, coding or. That makes sense. So make sure you're diverse. Learn exactly. a couple different things so that you're marketable and that you can integrate into different uh, opportunities. Absolutely. That is great. Well, you know, this has been awesome. Another great view into a woman in STEM. And Cassie, I cannot thank you enough for joining us. Uh, do you have any so final, final notes or thoughts that you want to share with these women? And girls. Uh, just to make sure that you keep your networks open and always look out for those that the, those people that you will will inspire you and to just keep going on your your path. That is great. Well, on those advice, I want to thank you again for joining us. Thank you for taking the time and congratulations on your professional success. Thank you.